So Jack, why don't you start? Yeah, for sure. My name's Jack. I am from Newcastle, Australia. And favorite Skittle, I'm going to have to say, is, it, is the purple one? The purple the, one? The grape one. And definitely check out our, our latest two track that's out, System Overload. Um, would really appreciate it. Hell yeah. I do want to start with I do want to start with Memories as the first track that I play of yours. Uh just because I feel like sure. this is the first song that we ever heard of you guys from the show, and I knew right away. Yep. Right away. Way back. Yep. Way back. See you later. That that just I hit that button when I think that uh, a band that's on the show is just gonna gonna blow up. Uh, I think oh, that I think that you guys have all everything it takes. So I want to play this one first, and then we'll dive into some questions. Postcards. Memories. Dude, what's what's uh yeah, drive wh- over to Jack's house, fam? <laughs> what's, yeah. what's what's the world like right now for you, sir, over there? Like, are lockdowns completely lifted, or is there still some form yeah, of regulations? Um, yeah, there is our uh, regulations in pubs and whatnot still of uh, having to wear masks and yeah. um, is sitting down while drinking and all that non-fun stuff. But um, the there's no lockdowns at the moment, which is amazing. As um, when we we're in lockdown, it was just hell for all of us, and I'm guessing for everyone else in the world. Dang, it's still not working for some reason. I'm not sure, but uh, darn. So when you guys went on this uh this weekend tour, is there is there any uh like crazy story that you can tell me about? And who did you guys go oh, with? Crazy stories. Uh, we went with uh, we went with Everly, and I am terrible with remembering like support acts. As Stove is the one who um, booked all of our shows and planned all of that. So, and I'm terrible with names just in general. So I apologize for not remembering um, the bands that went on with us. But we went with Everly for um, the whole weekend, and it was just such a good time. I think that was our first time. Um, probably doing like a, a weekender with um, with in postcards, and it was just so much fun. And as I guess you could see from like our music videos, we just have fun nonstop, and it's just such a good time. There's com- like a million stories that we could tell you every single time we get together, and it's just yeah, it's just a ball. Was there what what music projects did you do before postcards? <laughs> that is such a funny question and i've been waiting for someone to ask us this question but um yes! all of it so you nailed it on the head um all of us used to be in deathcore bands and like heavy ass bands and that's what we're wow. into really so um my, yeah like for me i i've grown up on like thigh art is murder and like being the youngest of the band um so yeah we were like really into the heavy side of things and it wasn't till like our old bands had split up and we knew we all knew each other because of those heavy bands in the local scene so we ran into each other a few times in shows and it was um yeah it was due to that that we ended up messaging each other afterwards and um saying like um hey like would you be interested in doing a a punk band and we're like hell yeah let's do it but you, you, so you knew everybody individually before this, and they just happened to hit you up and ask you that. And then, but it's kind of, what, did they say punk band or did they say pop punk band? Because I kind of think a different sound. Yeah. yeah, definitely pop punk band. As um, I as I quit my old, oh well, as my old band split up, um, I used to do a lot of drum covers and to just get out there, get my name out there in the world and to like sort of be known to try and get somewhere in another band. And it was, I did a drum cover of Torn, a cover of a cover. So a, Torn by Neck Deep. And okay. um, it was Stove who saw my video on uh, Instagram. And he goes, oh, I thought he only played heavy, heavy music. And he was the one who goes, would love to start a pop punk band. There and you that go. Was it. How did you guys, uh, how did you guys link up with Ophelia? 
Ophelia, um, our producer, um, Chris Lalick, um, definitely put him. We know Chris. The, we oh, know Chris. Is the mic work and stuff. Yo. Yes. yes! Hey! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hell yeah! What was it? What was it that fixed it? Um, I literally just unplugged my microphone. I'm just using the laptop one. <laughs> okay. I don't, we don't we'll chalk That's it up something. as a mystery. We'll chalk it up the as a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Sir, if you could properly introduce yourself now and uh, let us know whereabouts. You're obviously in a different place than Jack, but whereabouts in the world you are, sir. And uh, also, same question, plug or promote anything you like, even though you guys are both in the same band. But sometimes people right. say different stuff. Um, hey, I'm Stove. I uh, do. I sing in postcards. Uh, I'm in Newcastle at the moment. I think Jack's in, in Newcastle as well, actually. It looks like you're in your, in yes. your room. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm also in Newcastle. Uh, yeah, as, as Jack said before, you know, we put out a two-track September last year called System Overload. Um, it's sick. I'm really stoked on it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, oh, we're, we're touring with our friends in Traces in a week as well. So if anyone from Australia is listening, come to those shows. Traces. What's your favorite brand of stove? <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one. Um, we're I'm trying. We're LG. trying. It's an Australian brand. LG. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, and it's not because that's the only thing I can think of either. <laughs> Legit answer. Actually, that's the same. I couldn't think of a different brand either. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and jam uh, inside your head. But now that you're here to actually give us some like some lyrical backup for it, can you can you uh, go into what this song means? Um. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so uh, first off, this is this is my favorite postcard song. Uh, I'm I'm super super stoked on how it came out. Uh, it's basically just kind of about just like just you know that just general kind of like mental health stuff about like kind of being in uh, in a pretty like pretty not great headspace that kind of thing and then it's kind of you know having a bit of a bit of a talk to yourself and kind of being like all right you know this is a this is a problem now let's actually do something about it rather than just you know complaining and being like oh well I'm not not stoked on things <laughs> like yeah you know it's kind of talking to yourself and saying like yeah all right it's time to fix the problem basically gotcha. Um... Let's see. I did want to ask. So, so Jack said that the whole band came from like individual deathcore projects. Like, and he kind of <laughs> gave he yeah. kind of gave his <laughs> side of how the pop punk thing happened. But can I hear your side of it? Uh sure. Um, well, so basically, I've uh, I've always just kind of been in heavy bands and stuff like that. Like back in about 2013, 2014, that kind of thing um the the heavy scene in australia was just wild like there was just shows happening everywhere like every like you know youth center or pcyc which i don't know if you guys have that in america but like yeah just like these kind of just youth things we're just always putting on like local bands and just shows and all that kind of stuff so you could pretty much play anywhere so like you know there was bands that had been around for six months doing like 30 date tours and stuff because it was just all these places to play uh, and I used to be in a, uh, in a, like a just trash metalcore band. Um, and we, yeah, we played a few shows and so I think it was my second band that played with Jack's band. Um, but like a couple of those bands had just played with other members of the band. Like me and, uh, me and Tom have been in a couple of bands together already. Uh, I did vocals for one of Jack's bands once. Um, yeah, it was pretty much just like being in the same scene, uh, just like getting to know each other eventually. And then, uh, yeah, I'm sure Jack mentioned before I, I saw a uh, drum cover he did, and I was just like, yo, I thought this kid only played blast beats. Let's go. <laughs> that's that's so wild that you're just like, you know, it's time it's time to go the complete opposite of, of what we're jamming and just make a complete new project. Yeah. But that's that's totally so cool at the same time. Like I don't know why, but while you were telling that story, my phone like started listening and doing that Google app thing. Cause you must've said something that <laughs> triggered it and whatever it picked up was something about a wintry rap, but it just went away and I can't find it now. So I was going to read it cause I thought it was funny. A wind, yeah. a <laughs> wind, a it happens all the time when we're doing this show, like somebody will talk and like, I'll see my phone light up and it'll start listening to like what, cause there's like a trigger word or something. And yeah, like, a wintry rap. He says, nice. I was Amazing. about to read it to you. And it just, he was about to rap for like, you guys. Yeah. Dang. Dang it, we missed Wait, you it. Wait, rappers in like yeah, like music yeah, rap or yeah, like a, whatever like a it was listening to in you, in <laughs> what you were saying, like it picked up random words and somehow looked up some a thing of weird rap. <laughs> so so <laughs> I need to ask now. the next question I need to ask is uh, the marijuana rules over there are a little bit different than over here in the states. But who in the band 
Smoke weed every day. Hits that gun. Say nothing. Say nothing. Hey, Don't do it. They're listening. <laughs> that, that, would listen. be, that would be me. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's... Um. Yeah, the uh, the rules around here are a lot lot different. Uh, so yeah, don't do it. For legal reasons, that's a that's a joke. I'm I'm straight edge. Uh, Hell but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. If you guys looked out your bedroom window, how many kangaroos can you count outside? Uh, zero. zero. <laughs> Y'all need yeah, to move. I, you, you know, <laughs> you know, it's a common misconception that kangaroos are a lot more widespread in Australia. Uh, like they're, you know, they're everywhere. A lot of people said that. But, and but, but, what? Pigsy sent me a video of a kangaroo jumping in it's front true. of his car. It's true. We've had, we've had someone on the show that like the next day uh, had like a video footage of like a kangaroo almost like causing a car accident and right in front of him. And we, he was like, I told you. <laughs> They're yeah. kangaroos. <laughs> it's funny because they're like they're yeah. not everywhere, but they um they do like hang out a lot. So like you won't see them very much in cities where me and Jack live, but you'll see them like if you go between anything, there's just millions of them everywhere. Kangaroos so it's like to Australia are dear to America. I've yeah. heard that, yeah. When you like that's what I'm when to you learn. think of American music, which I know is just a broad, odd, weird question, but like what thought mm-hmm. comes to mind? Like what artist, what genre? Just like, oh, um, like just American music in general. Yeah, just, just what? What is the first thought? I'm just curious. Like, and it could be like any genre, any big artist. Big tours, or... big festivals. That's what mm, I'm like. I, I feel like yeah, everything. I definitely go to go to festivals. I think would be my first. Either that or just like huge pop artists. Like to be honest, the first thing that came into my mind was yeah. like Ariana Grande for some reason. But like, yeah, yeah I feel like yeah, your guys like. Your guys' festival and like tour game just shits on ours, big time. I mean, we have fifty states, so there's a, most of us can't make most of those festivals. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's exactly the same here, bro. <laughs> we get busy. Okay, it's time to get inside your head, fellas. Give me, give me the story of the worst gig you ever performed. It could be any. It could be any <laughs> oh, any band you've oh ever been in. God, any. What what the timing? What's oh, the timing? Um, it would have to be for this video. Wait, do you reckon? Do you reckon Canberra or do you reckon Curry Curry? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it I that, that know, one... That's a bit fifty fifty, but I would say Canberra because of like the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. You know what? I would say Curry's a close second because Curry's like a really fun place but yeah. like the just the venue sucked um, also a fantastic basketball player <laughs> did him yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no i think it would i'd say yeah probably camera the, the um most of the footage in this video actually is from we did that uh that yeah headline run and we stayed at uh our friend george's house the night before and from Everly, and um just like, yeah, just got on it, had a couple of drinks and stuff like that. Woke up in the morning, and by about lunchtime, uh, the day of the Canberra couple show... Couple of I drinks, no he voice. says. <laughs> couple of drinks. <laughs> a couple. <laughs> we're, we're Australian. A couple's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I woke up on the uh, the day of the Canberra show with just pretty much just no voice. Uh, had to sing our entire set, just like an, a whole octave lower um it was it was a tragedy i'm sorry to anyone who witnessed that because <laughs> <laughs> your most of your stuff is like the way way, way up definitely. here so i imagine the octave lower yeah. but that's cool that even yeah. though like if you're a loyal fan that's seen that you guys live a bunch of times like every every vocalist has off nights so it's cool oh, God, to yeah. like yeah. as a vocalist prepare yourself hey i'm not gonna be able to hit, the, hit these notes what can you go back to like you know hours ahead of time i gotta go an octave lower like what is the mental process of preparing for that knowing i'm not and i'm not i'm not making a joke i'm just i'm like i'm serious like no, no. hot tea it just, with it lemons makes me laugh. um it makes me laugh because uh as as jack will know and as the rest of the boys know uh i'm i'm so particular about our live show like to the point where i like when we get to a venue, like by the time we've been there half an hour, I know everything that's happening. Like I'm so just, I'm so particular about it. And pretty much the second that I uh, realized I wouldn't be able to like sing and do the proper show, I was just a sook for the whole day. Like I was, yeah, just having a, just having a whinge, just being ab- absolutely miserable. Um, but it was good. Cause like the boys were just pretty much just like, 
not letting me but more or less and like just making sure that we still had fun still had a really sick time but yeah when i uh yeah whenever anything goes wrong with vocals i'm a i'm a mess i hate it <laughs> it happens to everybody well let me tell you something buddy for someone that's been doing it for a good long time it's a human instrument compared to everybody else that you could buy replace mm, yeah. string tune it's a human instrument, so your health is literally your instrument. So if you're feeling shitty, it's literally what it is, and the more you push it, if not. And that's like a really hard concept for a lot of vocalists to understand. Yeah, for sure. You could feel like, yeah. It's easy. Yeah, you definitely, like, it, you've got to be so, like, so smart with it. Like, I've been doing vocals for probably about, like, probably about 10 years now. Uh, like, clean vocals, not so much, but I, I've been doing, like, heavy vocals and stuff just for years now and the amount of times that i've just had blowouts and stuff like that is just so bad uh so i'm like i'm usually heaps more on top of it now so like when i do have you know issues with my voice or whatever it's just like well look sorry boy that's not happening <laughs> in in the event i do want to uh get your guys advice on some our reviews on some uh some local artists that have submitted to us as far as like reviewing some some bands with us and maybe do a little yeah, trivia yeah. to have some fun yeah. but first uh it did you ever do screaming vocals in the heavier projects? And if, oh yeah, yeah, all the time. I, I give just, us the name, prove it, right now. All right. Um, I don't know if any of them are actually still up. If you look up, there's a band called Oath. The song is called "Reap What You Sow." Uh, that's the, probably the last time I did proper, proper like. <laughs> what part so you're do, you do the vocals of the whole thing yeah yeah like a little sample dude uh man i haven't heard that song in years that's sick <laughs> yeah, you, ever you guys would do you guys ever throw any heavy sections like that into postcards like just out of nowhere you just have we, one we, we did a little bit inside your head has a breakdown at the end of it which is really cool it's just very easy core cool. uh, but we want to do more of it because i think like all of us coming from heavy backgrounds and still like, you know, when we, um, when we go places, it's just heavy jams the whole time, uh, which I think is just so funny. Cause we rock up to venues with like, you know, death core playing and stuff like that. And then we come out and play pop punk and it's, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> but, That's um, awesome. But yeah, we definitely want to do a little bit more like heavy stuff in there. Like not, not enough to overpower anything, but enough to kind of go with it. I think it'd be cool. For sure. Let's uh let's review some artists together. Now, most of these we've never heard. Oh, yeah. Most, but not all, we've never heard before. It could be any genre from anywhere. And then uh, I'm going to queue up some trivia. If you guys get it correct, before Lloyd or anybody else in chat will give you the wheel spin, which could be a prize, which will literally mail you something if you win. But more than likely, <laughs> the, right. wheel, the wheel will land on something that's going to torture me or Lloyd. So we're going to find out what happens. Usually me. Oh, I'll wait. No, what were you going to say? Usually what? On local band smoke, what? Uh, on the Friends of Local Band Smoke Out Facebook page, because we're all like mods and whatnot, we can add expertise. And I have a request to be the expertise of coffee bean and roasting, and you have to approve it. I have to approve it? I'll, I'll approve that sh right away. I'll approve that right away. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Who yeah, are, Jack's who definitely more into it than I am, but we listen to a lot of it, yeah. Who's some like mainstream artist that we would know? I know there's a lot of like Australian uh, underground hip hop, but uh, like we we listen to uh, yeah. uh, what is it Bluntfield? Bluntfield? Am I saying his I name right? I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. know. In terms of um, I don't know. Jack's definitely more into like more modern stuff than I am. Um, but I'm I'm huge into like like I like love NWA and shit like Bluntfield. that. Like that old kind yeah, of I like... Sound like immortal technique or not? Yeah, I think of immortal technique, right? Dance with the devil. Who's saying dance with the devil? Or it was a rap song. Nah. <laughs> Dance with the Devil know. is nah. Van Halen, yeah. I think, right? Dance with the Devil? No. Immortal Technique, Dance with the... That's a tough song if you guys don't know that. I'm not... Nah, I don't know that. Nah. Just the same <laughs> style as before. Immortal Technique. Yeah, right. it's, it's an American oh? thing. It's an American thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sky. What do you guys think? That's such an interesting combo of sounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not bad, right? It's kind of like... Yeah, it's it's almost like if you had like a less heavy like Attila or something mixed with like Wednesday thirteen. Well, Wednesday thirteen. Yeah. I was Wednesday. gonna say like a heavier Trivium. 
Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. Good call. And with both of them, the less heavy Attila, because he has that, like, nah, nah, like that kind of like vocal yeah. style right yeah. there. Um, okay, speaking, though, of not trivium, but trivia, I'm going to ask you an easy one. <laughs> now we're talking NBA. We're going to talk NBA for a second. Lloyd, you cannot answer this uh, one. I think no, I'm I, answering this. Fuck you, man. I haven't gotten any right. It's you too easy. It. It's too easy for no, you. I guarantee we won't. I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> Though yeah. it was in a preseason game, which NBA player scored 100 points once in a single basketball game? That's not that easy. Uh, I think I know who it is. <laughs> I which, don't even know. Which NBA player so. scored 100 points? 100 in one See, that's not single... that easy. Will Chamberlain? See, I don't know. That is correct. Right. And you weren't supposed to answer. But that is correct. That's not. Yeah, right. They didn't know it. They didn't know it. They didn't know it. <laughs> so here we go. Nobody was <laughs> I wanted the blur though. You wanted. Oh, you wanted the blur. You wanted the. <laughs> <laughs> Be a Rick and Morty character. Amuse me. A Rick and Morty character heard. Uh, fellas, what's a postcard song that we can play of yours right now? What's you get, you get, one? you get to pick. Um, my yeah. favorite one's Inside Your Head, I think. But I don't know about Jack. Jack. What's I mean, yours? Jack's is good uh, for nothing. I think. Good for nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good for nothing. I'm dead, you're Hanging out with postcards. Did you, see, you said you guys said Chris Lilac does your recordings, right? Correct. Yeah, yes. yeah, Chris Lilac. Yeah. Are you excited to not be able to record with him probably anytime again in the near future due to the fearless deal oh, and, yeah. and all that? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, what? yeah, it's like it's super super big for those dudes, but like I'm I'm ninety percent sure that he's gonna be super busy over the uh, the next couple of months at least. But oh. no, nah, I, I think it'll be fine. Like he's always like we're always kind of able to get um get some time in with him oh so. is he like a randy bg no he's uh he's the drummer of wind waker but he also does like uh he's basically yes uh the randy over there as far as uh, he's just badass recordings or a month out in advance to get him oh yeah <laughs> probably, oh, yeah. probably yeah. was longer than that i would imagine but a lot uh, of us guys in the upstate new york area a lot of bands that we have on the show even we all record with the same drummer of if i were you randy and if you i asked him the other day what days he had available and it's quite a ways out yeah, <laughs> Dude, that's, <laughs> yeah that's crazy yeah, so that when you start like recording crazy. bands and it sounds good and like every band that goes through you sounds legit and good like those dudes are gonna get busy quick so do as oh, much oh, as you yeah. can i think that's definitely the case with chris as well like um, he's been doing it for years, but like he's really, really come like come into his own in the last couple of years. And I think it's like really showing because his his production is just incredible, which is why he's a genius. I keep going back to him. Oh, he is. He's an absolute genius. Yeah, I know he did. Don't uh, tell me what to do, he, Matt Dog. He, he did a lot of uh, two Octavia <laughs> stuff and who yeah, else? days yeah. like these. Yep. And I'm tr I oh, think he's the Australian Randy. I get it. Yeah, he's yeah, he's pretty much the go-to guy. <laughs> yeah, he's know, badass. This is a uh, this next one is Rain Check. You guys would be really cool live, I reckon. I think that'd be really, really cool to watch live. Yeah. The vocals are like almost, they're almost like correctly under mixed as far as like how loud they are. Yeah. But it's, but it's yeah. like right at the cusp of I can still hear everything, but I'm like, I just want it to be a little, oh, okay. I kind of see where it, it, why it's there for like the dark deepness of it, but. Yep. For sure. Kind of gives me, um, I think, I don't know if you guys will have known about this, but Jack will, like, kind of gives me, like, a whatever forever kind of vibe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big time, yep. <laughs> whatever forever? I don't know. Yeah, what they're a band from Sydney. Bad. They're incredible. They're, yeah, really, really cool. Members of members from Justice of the Damned. Automatic. I get one automatic a day. I can put any band I want automatically into the poll, and I'm using it. Uh, it's totally, <laughs> I, I, I wrote it down. I'm going to jam That's this one, later. Bro. I'm gonna jam this later. That's how much. Did your uh, your your mini your mini run tour and you're you're on the long road? How do you pass the time? What's do you have any like cool funny um, band game stories or something that 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 makes you pass the time? I don't know. Um, we talk I, a I, lot of bullshit. 
<laughs> yeah, we talk a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, as as a good family does. Yeah, yeah it's true. Sure. It's true. Um, I feel like we definitely um we definitely pile it on sometimes. Poor Henry cops it a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we yeah. give Henry a lot of shit. <laughs> um, poor guy. We love him. Though. Shout out um, Henry Schmeck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out Henry. But um, yeah, we uh, we give him a lot of shit. Uh, a lot of it is just um. We just jam a lot of music, really. Like, it's generally we'll get in the car and we'll just pass the phone around and everyone adds, like, five or six songs or whatever and then, you know, just just piles on from there. Who Who's the one person in the in the van where you just, like, dread handing him the... the you get to pick the next five songs. <laughs> Who are you like, God, <laughs> is it really his turn again? I'm going to have to pick first. And I'm gonna say Brad because I'm not a massive fan of Green Day, and yeah. I seem he he just seems to pick out like the old cringy songs that uh, I'm just not a fan of, but love the dude. But yeah, it's gonna be him. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Sorry, Brad's Brad. got a very different taste in music than the rest of us. So he's like, oh, we love him, but he's yeah, we don't like his music that much. <laughs> yeah, but let me ask you this: How many Green Day songs can you either sing along to Sorry, or Lizzie. play instrumentally? It's true. Oh, bro, so, a million of them. Yeah, <laughs> I, well, you know, I, all of them. that's like a foundation of it all, bro. For sure. The first <laughs> song it. I ever learned on guitar was American Idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, uh, you know, look at yeah. backpedaling now, boys. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jack said he wasn't a fan. I said nothing. <laughs> that album is pretty <laughs> damn mean, good. I, like, the songs that they play on the radio and overplay the fuck out of, like, those, I feel like yeah. That, yeah. But that one album is like is has a bunch of bangers that aren't on the radio, and, it, and it's like a really cool political album. I would say like it was oh, like it was sure. like one of I hadn't heard like a really really cool political album since like something that Rage came out with back in the day, or in my opinion, yeah. when yes. when American Idiot came out. Fellas, uh, we have one more time. We have time enough for one more song of your choice, any song of in your entire catalog. But please explain why you've chosen it, and you can go way back if you'd like. Your call. Hmm. I reckon the I, OG. Yeah, you, you take this yeah. one, Jack. <laughs> yeah, I reckon um, someone you can be proud of, because mm. this is what started the band, and this is what created our sound. And funny st- backstory is that uh, we were that lazy and forgot about that album artwork that uh, <laughs> Henry had to quickly run with our photographer um cory nathan at the time um to the lake <laughs> where this photo is taken and it was like taken the day before it was released so yeah, yeah this is just uh <laughs> this is like just our all-time favorite song because you can't you can't forget the clap you can't forget real the quick clap. Yeah. did you have to abbreviate postcards like that because there's a actual band out there named postcards spelled out yeah it was mostly just because like we um every when we were deciding on a band name we were just going through all these names and we'd always do the spotify test so we just always type the band name into spotify and just we were like if we can get away with like one other band being called the same thing it's fine but if there's like 17 of them then it's you know you don't want to be that band um and yeah we like we didn't do it for postcards initially we just kind of like we said postcards and we were all like oh shit i think that's the one like that's definitely it and then, um, yeah, and then I was, like at the last minute, I was like, oh, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should see if there's any other bands. And there was like, yeah, like three or four. And I'm like, eh, we're sold on it. Let's just take out the vowels. Uh, yeah, yeah, classic. No, cringe. no, no V's. Yeah. Like Lizzie's saying, what about the V's? No V's. Like P V S T. Did you consider uh, that? Nah, nah, I, I think yeah. it had come across too metalcore. Everyone would expect us to sound like, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> Someone you can be proud of. Is that one still in the set, or is that one kind of like yeah. that was that was the? Oh, it still is. Okay, cool. Sometimes yeah, like it's when still in the set uh, for now. <laughs> for sure. What what can we expect of you guys for the rest of 2022? Um, hopefully we just want to punch out as many shows as we can. Um, we're working on new stuff at the moment, so that should be really cool. Um, I think it's going to be really different because like we're kind of all involved in, in this one where like in the past, I feel like each song has kind of like been written by one person or like, you know, it's been like, like specific people writing like each thing. Whereas like this time everyone's kind of involved in everything. So I think it'll be like really cool. That's really yeah, cool. I have some unfortunate be, really. We're definitely going to be coming loud. We're coming hard. We're not going unnoticed. That this I have year. some unfortunate bad news Hell though. Yeah. I'm being told right now that you guys are not 
eligible for today's show, and I'm sorry. Well, it's because. It's because. You are being automatically gifted into the next Tournament of Champions. Right now, Mad Dog has used his hey. golden ticket to basically say you win today, and you will be in the next <laughs> Tournament of yeah. Champions. So, I'll, go. so what that is, if you have no idea what that is, on February 18th, we have the Tournament of Champions 8. So that's already been determined. So approximately a month, month and a half from now, I'll let you guys know way in advance all the information. But uh, basically, we, we have a tournament where one song from each band, we do like a massive competition. Everyone brings their all their fans and stuff, and everyone becomes fans of the other bands, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of fun. Me and Lloyd always host it. BG's and actually in this tournament, though. So you, like, I haven't you been in, I haven't been in my <laughs> own band in like eight years, but due to like loopholes the mods have found, they've worked in my old band. But I tried yeah! to go, go up against a band <laughs> that I think would ahead. slaughter me. So hopefully I, I do not win because that's totally not, that doesn't make sense. But gentlemen, congratulations. <laughs> you you will automatically be in that. It's, it's a lot of fun, I promise. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> fellas, thank you guys so How much so for. Many uh, people be wrong, man. That's right. <laughs> Apparently, uh, fellas, thank you guys so much for hanging out with the stove and Jack of uh, postcards. Once again, is there anything? Any? Can you guys plug uh, all your social media stuff one last time? Uh, yeah, uh, you can find us on literally everything under postcards NC. Uh, so, yeah. Postcards Instagram, NC Facebook, spelled exactly this way. Stuff. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, postcards. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you so much for doing Thanks this. So enjoy much. enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe. And we wish you a successful 2022. Thanks you so too. much, man. You too. Thank you, guys. Catch us later. Stove and Jack of postcards. Hell yeah. Cheers, boys. We appreciate it.